Hey everyone, we're out in the woods today on a woods walk. There's a bunch of deer prints. I remember back to when I was a kid, we'd do plaster casts of animal prints. And I thought, let's just do that again. It'd be really fun. So, um, I had to kind of get the dogs out of the way to do the plaster cast prints, but I'm gonna show them to you over here. Ready? Here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. Henry, go get him. So I remember as kids, people making plaster casts of animal prints in the woods. And I was just like, I was just hiking. I was like, let's just do that again. So quickly here, because I had to do the cast while the dogs were way down there. Yes. <laughs> yes. As you can see, they'll tear up the deer prints. <laughs> so you want to pack in some plaster of Paris and water. Bring more plaster of Paris than you think you need, because I ran out after making two prints. And then um, some kind of round mold. You could do a square mold too, I guess. Um, you could use heavy duty cardboard. And um, I used some, some poster tube that I cut up. I did cardboard poster tube, made a nice ring. Something that makes a ring. Corrugated cardboard taped together. Old masking tape rolls. I mean, use what you got. This is Blaze, by the way. He is our neighbor's dog and we take them out on our trail rides because they get along really well. <laughs> Whee! Oops, so in the morning on your morning trail walk, get the dogs out of the way, set the cardboard over the print you like. It's best to do it just after it rains. That's the best animal prints. Pull out any debris that's in there or flies that are flying in your face. And then you want a two to one mixture. It's two parts plaster Paris, one part water. Bring more plaster parrots than you think you need. And uh, you basically pour it in and let it set up. Hi. This is a really nice print here. So this is a muddy spring area. So this would be a perfect place for some deer prints. You could also do dog prints. It's a really nice dog print right there. All right, so it's the late afternoon. Mosquitoes are out. Knuckleheads are stepping all over my stuff. So let's lift it up and see what it looks like, okay? <laughs> oh man, it's not a snack. Come on, get out of the way. <laughs> if you get near the ground, they think you wanna play. All right, ready for the reveal? Yeah. Now everybody you know walks around with a toothbrush in their back pocket, right? Everybody I know. I think we'll have to take this home and wash it out a little bit, but I think you can see an uh, imprint, the deer, wow, it's the, bigger. the clove foot of the deer. Pretty cool science project. <laughs> Look at this one. He likes the original better. Oh, this one's better. Wow. Now 
neat, huh? It is neat. It's big. All right, let's take these home and clean them up. No, I'll clean them up here. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you're into, they're into. It's just... <laughs> Blaze! They're the best audience. Oh, this is very interesting. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, toothbrush. Is it edible? <laughs> <laughs> Can I eat the toothbrush? I'll clean your teeth. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna clean these up, but if you want to watch some more of our fun videos, there should be some squares floating around here um, to watch more Garden Fork with the Labradors cooking, gardening, DIY, maker, eclectic stuff. That's what Garden Fork is. It's a pile of dogs and dogs eating toothbrushes. <laughs> See you later. Let me know your thoughts. Oh, oh.